Hi and welcome. I'm going to talk you through step by step how I painted this beautiful poppy field with really loose wet and to wet poppies. Um, the colours I used for this were um, quinacridone gold which is a Jackson's art and the rest I used were all Daniel Smith colours. I used Cascade Green, Mayan Blue, Sleeping Beauty, Luna Black, Serpentine Genuine and for the red I used Pyrrhal Scarlet. The paper I used is 350 GSM cold pressed paper and I stuck it down to a board and put my board at a slight angle so most of the wet sort of ran down the board. I also used a Princeton Neptune number no. 18 brush which is a mixture of synthetic and natural hair. I also used some paper towel, well a lot of paper towel, um, some pencil crayons, any colours, a black one would be good and some green ones I used and some sandpaper and also you'd need some blotting paper, this kind of paper calligraphers use to blot the ink when, when it's down on the page. I started off by completely wetting the paper and then came in with the red and blotted, not blotted, just plonked in, plumped in, plumped in, what's, what do you call that? Um, I just dabbed, <laughs> dropped in the, the red where I wanted the poppies to go. Now I, I knew I wanted a definite um, skyline right at the top and I wanted most of the poppies to be in the field. So I sort of had this in mind, so I created what I like to start off by calling them is blobs, just blobs of red here and there, just blob it in, in a sort of poppy shape and just let the paint all flow where it wants to. This red just travels really lovely. I then came in with the Sleeping Beauty, the turquoise colour and added it to the top of the painting where I wanted like the, the skyline to be. I'm using a piece of blotting paper, sorry I'm in the camera some of the time for this but I was standing up and doing this and having a good time. I blotted out a really sharp line where I wanted the horizon to be because I wanted to be keep that really bright and white and light where the light was coming from. Down the bottom here I started to come in with the Mayan blue and I just sort of dropped it in, let it all spread in with the red. The blue doesn't travel that far but the red sort of takes over so it like pushes it back so it doesn't spread into the red paint very well. I just put that in all round where the where the poppies were just for the background and I just let the paint sink into the paper and just do what it wanted to do and you get lovely like you can see the purples coming here where it's mixing with the red and I just let the paint mix together on the paper and then I added something which I forgot to add to the list at the beginning I added some Dr P H Martin's Hydrus watercolour and this is in Indian red and I love this it's a beautiful paint it just granulates and gives you lovely textures as it dries it's wonderful you should have a go I then added some lunar black to the centers of the poppies I also dropped in some water over the top of this and here is where I start blotting out the the red where I want the edge of the petals to go and I'm coming in with the quinacridone gold to add some like depth and light to the poppies and I keep thinking where the light is sorry if the table shakes but when I blot I do press down quite hard and the paper I'm using isn't 100% cotton so it um, has a nice you can lift off the paint if you've got cotton paper sometimes it sinks in too too much and you can't lift the paint off 
lot of blotting. You see me using both hands. I use my right hand to bring the paint in and then I blot it off and more paint, more blotting. And I keep adding up and building transparent layers of the paint. Near the bit of the cascade green, I think I mixed it with a little bit of the lunar black and I'm starting to put in the stems of the poppies. a lot of blotting out as the painting's drying and letting the colours do what it wants. I'm not using a hair dryer or a dryer or anything for this because I want the paint to give all those lovely washbacks and cauliflowers and like textures because I think that's what makes a lovely watercolour painting and it keeps the looseness of it. The paper's so wet um, it's like buckling, even though it's stuck down, it still buckles and cockles and I've got so much water on there, but I've got a lot of pigment. Don't be afraid to use a lot of paint. And here again, I'm blotting more out. I keep adding more water and blotting more out because I don't want to lose that light right up in that corner. Here I'm coming in with more of the scarlet to start defining more of the shape of the poppies and also you find that I keep blotting. I find that the tissue paper, when you blot out of the transparent layers because it sort of dries in different stages, you can create some lovely like papery feel to the poppies which they look like in natural natural life. Well, I don't know what I'm trying to say, you know what I mean? <laughs> in real life, the poppies look quite papery and I find that using a paper towel to blot it out helps with this. Here I'm just building in some, I'm using the paint on the paper and mixing it with the red to make a darker red. It creates a shadow colour so I'm coming in with a bit of shadow just to add depth to the poppies. I'm coming in and painting the stems of the poppies and I'm using the very very tip of the brush I think I've changed to a number I think it's a number 10 brush and I'm just painting in some buds the paper's still really wet and the paint will um, like all soak in and give it like a fuzzy feel but I like to start building up the layers of the buds of the flowers Here I'm coming in with a green watercolour pencil and I'm starting to draw in some really small buds right in, I want them to look like they're in the distance just poking above the rest of the flowers. Here again I'm using the paper towel and the painting is still very wet and I'm blotting out some areas where I want some buds to be so I do use negative painting and I come in and paint round little areas where I've captured the light by blotting out.
here I'm just adding in some more buds sh and shapes to the background. I blotted out the centres of the poppies and then I'm coming in with a black pencil crayon and I'm going to make the demons <laughs> of, the, of the flowers and if you look closely at a poppy you can see that they have really, the pollen's black and it like sprinkles out onto the petals so I create this effect by using sandpaper I sand the watercolour pencil I don't give the all the centres of the poppies the same the same um, treatment. I keep some that are more intense than others because that adds more interest and sort of guides your eye around. And your eye is always drawn to the place where there's more detail. Still using the black watercolour pencil, I'm coming in and dragging the wet paint and also drawing in with the crayon some stems. As it's drying I come in with more red paint and just add a few details. The paper is still the paper is still very wet. There's still a lot of moisture on there and I'm still able to lift off the colour to create light. Here I'm just coming in with a slightly darker mix of the red and creating some more shadows. I mixed a little of the Lena Black with the Mayan Blue and I'm just coming in and dropping in some really dark blues to the background to create more depth in the painting. You can see the lovely effects that that Indian Red is having, it's really granularly and lovely.
I'm still coming in with some highlights for the poppies and working on the poppy shapes. Now I'm going to use a pencil crayon and I'm still dragging the wet paint and drawing into the background to create more stems. point I decided it needs to be a bit drier for me to work on so I use a dryer to dry it. Once dry the paper looks 
the painting I mean <laughs> looks a lot lighter than when it was when it was wet and now I'm going to come in and start working on the centers of the poppies I like using a Posca pen for this a white one just to pick up some highlights I think I painted a bit of green in there I must have missed that with the video for the uh, centers of the flowers I'm just picking out a few little highlights with my Posca pen to create the edges of the petals. Here I'm using a yellow watercolour pencil and I'm just dragging it round the edges of some of the petals because I wanted it to cap feel like it was capturing the light that was shining. finishing off the last few details and then I think it's done I just need to remove the masking tape and all is revealed I really hope you enjoyed this please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already if you'd like to learn more about watercolor painting where I have lots of classes lots of tips and tricks and more videos for you to watch please think about joining my patreon the link is in the description below you just press the more button if you can't see it Thank you for joining me and I hope to see you soon. Bye.